Are you interested in the Frozen Mighty 8K printer? Well, join me today as we take this beautiful machine out of the box. See you guys in a second. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today's video, as I said, we are looking at the Frozen Mighty 8K. This is a 10 inch LCD, 8K resolution, resin 3D printer. Now, you can see I've got one out on the, out on the table. Well, right here, we got a second one to get out of the box. So, why this printer? Well, a lot of reasons. One, this is a thousand dollar printer retail. Now, a lot of times right now, I've seen this thing for around 500 bucks in the US. And it's on Amazon, which means a frozen product with free shipping, which is bueno vente. And that means you can get a good machine for a really good price right now. Now this machine is a 10 inch, 8K resolution, built-in camera. So this thing, Frozen has been working on an app so you can actually watch your resin print and stop it if you need to. Also, I'm kind of curious to see if we can maybe tap that camera for timestamp or for uh, time lapses to actually see the resin print begin. So, Wi-Fi capable. It has 3.5 gig storage on board that you can, and it has its own file share that you can access and put your file, just pop it on there through the network. So you don't even have to, you don't have to use the thumb drive unless you want to. And when the file share is available, the thumb drive is available. So you could pop a 32 gig thumb drive up here and keep just sending your files up. You don't have to move the thumb drive, which is a pretty cool feature of this machine. Also, I'm really impressed by the setup of this machine, which we're gonna get into that when we unbox it and power it up. Um, it takes you step-by-step step through the screens to do the initial bed leveling, the, the hardware testing of the LCD, and all that stuff. It takes you step-by-step step to do that, which is a bit of a step beyond a lot of the competitors, which really makes me really like this printer right out of the bat. Color LCD, all kinds of cool features. So the Sonic Mighty 8K. That's the one we're talking about today. If you're curious and you like what you see in this video today, don't forget that subscribe button on your way out. Also, leave us a like, help us out. Um, that helps us propagate against YouTube. Links to this printer are in the description down below. So if you're interested in it, go click on that Amazon link, go check it out. Also, if you have any questions about it, leave those comments down below. Or if you have any 3D printing questions, hit me down in the comments. So with that, let's hop over and let's get this second printer out of the box. All right, guys, so you can see I cut the bottom of the box open, but let's get this thing out of the box and get our first view of it. So I'm really excited about this machine. I think it has a lot of great potential. It's well stacked. Uh-oh. <laughs> I didn't think that through, did I? All right. There we go. All right. So, 10 inch build plate, it's very well packed, Frozen has always been good about packing their equipment. I'm going to grab a knife here, we're going to get this opened up and get this bag off. So, lots of good handy foam for dioramas, so keep that in mind. And let's turn her and face forward, and let's get it out of the bag. Oh. All right, so, love the LCD. Everything is wrapped. <laughs> but we got bolts for that. Just don't damage your machine. Alright.
Lots of goodies to come off. All right, so we'll pop the lid off. I love the orange. Um, there's red, there's green, there's yellow of any cubic. I just really like the orange. More foam. The parts box. And some more foam. And gotta get around, around it here. All right, so. 10 inch build plate, it's solid. Love the patterning on it, definitely unique. Uh, single bolt plate, which I like. Bring it up closer here. You guys can see that beautiful LCD 10 inch plate and you notice the camera built on there. So we got all kinds of cool little features here to work with. Leveling feet and all that jazz. I'm gonna go ahead and get the FET bay off. So nice 10 inch FET bay. Got a tab we gotta pull off to start using it. The only thing that I didn't like is it didn't come with a screen protect a really standardized screen protector. I've got mine on the way, hoping they're gonna arrive here. I will not print with this until I have a screen protector on it. Always put a screen protector on your printer. The screen protectors, they're gonna help save your printer from a FET bay breach and resin curing on your digitizer and your LCD and save you a lot of money. A $5 or a five or $10 LCD protector or a $150 LCD. Hmm, hard choice, right? So always get your screen protector. And while I'm thinking about it, we're going to get out a piece of paper because we're gonna go through the leveling process. So always have your handy piece of paper. I'm gonna pull this off. Now, could you use that as a screen protector? Probably, but I put the heavier duty ones on. So I'm gonna lay my piece of paper down. I'm gonna take my plate. I'm gonna put it back there for now. So let's get into the goodies box, shall we? So we've got servicing warranty card. We've got the instruction book. Piece of sandpaper to kind of rough up your plate if you need to after some prints. Allen wrenches. USB, power, gloves. Really nice. I, this is one thing I'm going to say about these guys. I love the putty knives. The knives they send are beautiful. I love that they've got the nice groove, nice blade on it. These are really high quality blades. I really, really do appreciate that about those. We've got the AC adapter, but we need to talk about this for a minute. So this printer has two USB ports built onto the body of the machine and it has a LAN uh, plug-in in the back. And one of the cool things is, it comes with a Wi-Fi adapter that you'll plug into the back. And you can connect this machine to your Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna plug that in. I'm also going to get my power cord so we can power this on. I'm in the US, so I'll use the US standard power cord and get this one plugged in. So screen protector, built-in camera. Um, I don't know how that works yet. I'm gonna have to kind of play with that. Probably be a second video on that part. Um, I'm not sure if the app is released yet for the camera functionality. So, um, uh, cool thing about this printer too is it does have a built-in 3.5 gig file share into the printer and you can create a file share um, that same file share will give you access to your USB drive that's plugged in so you can just drop files over your Wi-Fi over your network and get it connected to the printer All right Get connected to power here maybe All right. We're gonna turn this guy back around as I throw a knife at myself All right we now have power. Clean up some of my trash, move the exacto knife so I don't hurt myself. All right. Goody box. And I do need the Allen wrenches because we have to level the bed. So, unlike the Sonic Mega 8K, the Mighty 8K, you do have to level your bed. It's a very simple process. We're going to do it right now. All you got to do is there's four bolts. Four bolts, right here. You just gotta loosen those. That's how we start the process. 
You just gotta loosen them. Don't take them out, just loosen them. Loosen them up enough that the centerpiece here can move around. Now we're ready to start the leveling process. Get your piece of paper on there. Now, once I put the screen protector in, I will re-level it again. So, just kind of one of those things to keep in mind. But I'm gonna, we're gonna get through the leveling process. <clears throat> but I want to set up a second camera here real quick, so I can actually give you good shots of the screens. And while that power's on, it is going to ask for some initial setup that we're going to have to do. So we're going to go through the initial setup steps here. <coughs> and we're going to get it, basically, we're going to tell it where our Wi-Fi is and all that kind of stuff. And we're going to name the printer. Now for me, this is 8K Beta. Because I already have one upstairs that is Alpha. Uh, I'm going to select English. And we're going to connect to my internet. And I'm going to kind of take that out of view for a second because you guys don't need to know my internet password. All right, put that back in view. You guys can see it's connected to my Wi-Fi now. Um, how to set a printer for first time use. Now here we go, here we go through the first steps. Next, it's going to go through several tests. You guys will see this here. I'm going to hit next. And you notice my LCD just came on. So I should see a full LCD, and I do. Everything's blue. That looks great. Here in a couple more seconds, it's going to move to the next step. And it's giving a grid pattern. So I'm going to check that. And I see the grid all across it. See if we can catch it there. You can see kind of the grid. And now it's going to go to a black screen, which it is doing as well. So we've definitely going through the base setup. The hardware looks like it's working properly. Now it's says the axis calibration or bed leveling. I'm going to put my piece of paper back in here. I'm going to hit next. I'm going to hit next again. I'm going to hit next. And I'm going to hit next one more time because it's taking you through the steps that I just showed you step by step. Now it's going to bring the z-axis down and we're going to get this leveled in. So once it's down, it's set, we'll tighten those four screws again with the same Allen wrench, the number three, and bada boom, bada bing, we're done. We're level, and it'll be ready to move into the next test. But the recommendation for that first test print is the Aqua AK resin from Frozen. So if you don't have that, I'm gonna show you how to kind of get out of that because I'm not ready to do that here. This is not my print shop. This is my stage area. I don't want a printer running in here. So we're gonna let that finish coming on down and you guys will see it'll do some movement where I've loosened the bolts here. It's kind of moving, it's beeped, it's ready. I'm gonna place my hand on it and I'm gonna tighten these up. Now, with leveling, you're gonna to have to do this periodically. Um, so, just to make sure you're staying in level, you know, you take it off and you've got a hard print that comes off, something like that. You know, it's not hard to clean this and do a leveling. So, kind of keep that in mind. I'm just tightening up the four screws. There we go, everything's tight, and I'm gonna hit done. It's gonna raise the Z-axis back up for me, and boom, we're leveled. So. Once that's up, it's going to tell me to put the FET bay back on. Which at this time, what I'm going to do is, you guys have noticed, I took the FET bay off. Oh, that beautiful sound of good stretched FET. I'm going to grab the tab and lose the bolt. And I'm going to pull that off. And I'm going to bring this back over to the printer with making sure my maximum line is in the back. Set that in place and make sure those are good tight. So, my resin bay is now in there, everything's in place to start working with the machine. So, um, we're gonna hop back. I'm gonna show you the screen. I'm gonna back out, but if you do have the Aqua 8K resin right there in your spot, pour it in and get going.
So, um, test prints are on the USB, so I'll make sure I plug that in here into the front for the machine. And bada boom, bada bing, you're ready for your first test print. This thing's out of the box. Awesome features. I love the camera. I love that possible functionality. Um, but one thing I am going to show you is how to set up the file share real quick. Um, that way you know how to do the online file share. So one last piece to go here. Once that finishes raising up. All right, so it's done. So now let's print the XP finder. I'm not going to do this. I'm going to hit other resins and hit OK. And I'm going to back out. And I'm going to hit OK because we're done. So here's the main screen. We're at the main screen of the printer. I'm going to come down here to settings and I'm going to go to sharing network. I'm going to turn that on. And that's my path that I'll go to the IP address to get to my printer, um, username and the password. Password um, I do recommend changing. I'm an IT security, I work in IT, security is key. Um, the default password is 12345. So, um, is it just 12345? Yeah, 56. So, but now the share is available. You can go to your computer and you can get to that share. Network system settings, that cleaning Z access control if you need to re level. And then here's your main printings, printing information, which I do like that it even keeps a history. So, great features, great looking printer. Check back on the next live stream to take a look at what we did. I live stream every Tuesday at 8.15 Eastern Central Time, or Eastern Standard Time, sorry. So I live stream uh, once a week, so come back and check and see what I printed with this. So um, it's getting time for a new model on that live stream. So definitely come check it out with us, but hope you guys enjoyed the unveiling of the Photon uh, Mighty 8K as it gets added into my shop and we get it back there and we start using it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, join the crew. So we're coming out with all kinds of new stuff every day. Also, if you've been here, we're closing in on that 6,000 subscriber mark. I just wanna say thank you to everybody. I really do appreciate it. And everybody that's subscribed, it really does help the channel out. Make sure you hit that like button and we will see you guys in the next video.